Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss 2.2 inequalities for part B where we have linear inequalities. What is linear inequalities? Linear inequalities consists of x to the power of 1. Or you can say x. Real number line are used to find the solution of the inequalities. Answer can be expressed in set notation or interval notation. Here are the example 15a. So now, before we solve it, I'm going to split into two parts. So meaning that we have 2 plus 3x greater than negative 7. And for the second part, where we have 2 plus 3x less than 8. So I'm going to focus on the left hand side. 3x greater than negative 7, negative 2. We will have 3x greater than negative 9. Finally, divide by 3, we will have x greater than negative 3 for the left hand side. Let's move on to the right hand side. 3x less than 8 minus 2. 3x less than 6. Again, divide both sides by 3 and we will have x less than 2. So now we have to solve by using the number line. So first we have to denote the numbers with a line, negative 3 and 2. So follow the inequalities, x greater than negative 3. So we have empty circle followed by greater than negative 3. Next, we have x less than 2. Again, empty circle. So in this part, we have a sign n. The meaning n is intersection between the two number line. So this is the intersection part. So this is the answer. So I'm going to express my answer in interval form where we have negative 3 until 2 where negative 3 and 2 is not included. For the set notation, we will have negative 3, 2, 2 where negative 3 and 2 is not included. Now we are going to discuss example 15b. So we have 6 minus x, which is greater than equals to 2, and 3 bracket x minus 2, which is less than 5x. So let's focus on the left hand side. So we have 6 minus 2, which is greater than equals to x. Rearrange or rewrite. So we will have x less than or equals to 4. Move on to the right hand side. First, we have to expand. So, 3x minus 6 less than 5x. Kindly rearrange. So, we have negative 6, 5x minus 3x. Rewrite again. So, we will have 2x greater than negative 6. Divide both sides with 2. We will have x less than negative 3. So now we are going to illustrate into the number line. So we have negative 3 and 4. First, look at negative 3. We have empty circle. X which is greater than negative 3. Next, we are going to focus the 4. We have 
then circle x which is less than and equals to 4. Finally, we have to shaded the region where we have n, meaning that the intersection between the two number line. So here we have the location, intersection between the two line. So my answer for interval form would be negative 3 until 4, where negative 3 is not included. For the set notation, we will have negative 3 until 4, where the negative 3 is not included.